So me, I'm Jonathan Cleorda, I'm the technical domain expert in for reservoir engineering at Sequent. Yeah, and I'm Vaiva Chafait, I'm a customer solutions specialist in EMEA region, and I do the technical support for our geothermal clients. We are a subsurface uh, modeling company. We provide solutions to our customers to understand the underground better. So we have two main modeling uh, softwares we suggest our clients to use is the Walsing and LeapFrog Energy. LeapFrog Energy is our solution to conceptualize the subsurface. So it meaning that our clients coming from geothermal industry who has different data sets such as well data, geophysical data, temperature data, basically you name it. You can bring that to LeapFrog Energy to understand the subsurface much better and create these conceptual models faster. So Bossing is a simulation software, so you can do a numerical reservoir simulation, you can model well bores, and you can model the surface network. So when I say surface network, I mean pipelines, separators, and power plants. So by doing this, you can model this whole closed loop system of the, the reservoir connecting to the well bore, to the surface network, enable you to make predictions of things like power generation, and forecast makeup wells, like these key commercial drivers of a, a project directly from this one one integrated system. I think the main concept is that you have two teams. You have geologists and you have geothermal engineers. And you know, our solutions make this team work together. So for instance, geologists, they can create a conceptual model using all the available data and conceptualize and model everything what you have under the surface. And then geologists takes this data and transfer to Walsang, where they can do the, you know, solve the reservoir engineering issues. And we know from reservoir simulation that better models are made when they're heavily informed by geoscience, when your geochemists and geophysicists and geologists work together to come up with this good conceptual model of the system that really takes into account the key processes occurring. So your numerical simulation, your dynamic model, forward model, needs to start from that and take that, those important considerations in. So it's really simple to export a model from LeapFrog. You just exactly. click, output this file, bring it into, Leap, uh, into Volsung, and off you go. And it means you're starting your reservoir simulation from a really good starting point. Yeah. So it's a key aspect in terms of like de-risking geothermal and managing geothermal resources is making use of models, you know, making a sensible use of models so that we can use them to understand what could be causing a problem in the resource. Is it pressure decline? Is it marginal recharge? Is it, you know, how to target wells properly? So by kind of combining this tool that makes it easier to do your geology modeling with the tool that makes it easier to do your reservoir simulation model, it just lets you get full value out of these uh, modeling efforts that you do. So data management is still a big issue in the industry. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very challenging to keep track of all these different data sets that have been uh, obtained historically in different formats and different styles. So managing that is really key. Uh, then in terms of making use of the data, absolutely. It should drive decision making, uh, but it needs to be, you need to make careful use of it. And that's where these models come into uh, effect because you make these models that are calibrated to the data and then you can use the models to, to predict forward and help you manage the resource better. You know, okay. we acquired uh, Walsung. This is one of, the, one of the ways we're keeping up. No? Yeah. Sure, yeah. absolutely. And for us, we love being challenged by the industry. Uh, for, so I can speak from a Volsung perspective because we were part of the development there. A lot of it came from our experience, what we wanted, what we were looking mm. in, in reservoir simulation software. And now with the broader user group, and then just the rapid pace of progress we're seeing in EGS mm. and AGS with all this amazing international collaboration and 
effort into Supercritical, it's really yeah. exciting and motivating for us to be part of that story as well and to continue to be challenged by the industry to improve mm. and then keep adding new support into our software uh, to continue to play a role in enabling that. Yeah. You know, and from technical point of view, we always make sure that everyone who's coming, not from conventional geothermal areas, that they can use their data sets.